Introducing da 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 the booty king. Hooray! 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 Nancy, 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 Nancy. Look at this gem. Show them. Show them around. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Gorgeous. Dude, let's show them over there. Okay. All that. Ladies and gentlemen, how we doing? It's your boy Nunzi, aka the Bute Kang. We got BB Brownie in the back. And uh, so grateful and honored to be training here at Gym Box in Vancouver. As you can see, it's a beautiful studio. Mm -hmm. And it's just us. Mm -hmm. Work out on the weekends. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yo, you, you've tuned in for a special episode today. Oh, what exciting. Else? What else? Uh, what? Turn the music down, Devil, and say Keep going. Alright, come on over here. Rolling. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, today, um, I've been specializing in glued isolated training for, for fucking years. Um, mm. I Not just glutes. years, fucking years. Fucking years, man. Long fucking time, years. fucking long time. Fuck it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of, like, this is a subjective, um, What's your favorite glute exercise? Hip thrust. See, it's hip thrust, uh -huh. right? If you talk to most people, a hip thrust is pretty common. But that's a compound movement, right? And what I've learned in bodybuilding um, is all about isolation. You just gotta isolate the muscle, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, to, really, to really grow that particular muscle. Mm -hmm. So hip thrusts are great, deadlifts are great, you know, lunging, squatting are all great, but I've always had a huge love, my baby, oh. for the, uh, the, the glute cable kickbacks. Um, it's such an isolated movement. The glute muscle is a fan. Mm. <sighs> Ooh, that's nice. Show them the fan. Show them the fan. Oh, all right. That's what it looks like. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> this is a good anyway, side quest. Anyway, anyway. so um, the glute cable kickbacks, you can do so many different variations. And I'm going to show you my top five cable exercises for the glutes, for glute max, glute meat, um, that you can start doing. And trust me, trust the booty king. Because, yo. Oh. All right, come over here. Booty doesn't lie. So, we're going to start with a standard kickback. Standard. And uh, if you guys have been watching Nutsy, which you have, thank you very much. Always. Um, you have seen, I do a lot of my kickbacks where I actually wrap the ankle strap right. around the knee. It's called a knee strap. Sure. Pop the strap on. It's, it's the same strap. It's the same strap. <laughs> Different placement. Different places. Mm -hmm. Important. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so the standard kickback is my favorite because it's going to really hit that meat and that max. Now this is a great tip. So like most people do them, like you can do them like st standing up straight. Mm -hmm. The key is the 45 degree angle. Oh yes. So I'm not going straight back. I'm actually pulling out my 45 yeah. degree angle. Yeah, yeah. Tuck your toe in, drive with your heel. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm doing. What are you talking about? Always. What are you talking about? Whoop! Anyway. Get back to your kickbacks. So speed that up. So you see how Chirpy. And here's the other cool thing. This is the expert. So watch as I banana or I J. Does I kind of go back? Banana man? Yeah, banana, <laughs> banana man. Banana <laughs> man. Da 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 da. No, seriously, watch the, the path of yes. my leg in here. Yes. It's, it's a banana path. It's banana. Boom. 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 Perfect. Like I said, the glute is a what? Is it a fan? fan? I thought it was a banana. I'm confused. Whatever. It's a bull <laughs> <banana. laughs> Or a peach. <banana. laughs> It's a pizza. So, on all cable kickbacks, you gotta have your legs straight, right? Like think about like the movement, like you're hint, you're moving it from the glute. So if you have bent in the knees, we're gonna take away from that. Now, however, you can do like a like a fire hydrant, you know, if you want it. But you want to keep that leg straight, a little bent in the knee. You when you're standing. Out. When you're standing. Yeah. Yeah. So the standard kickback is just basically 45 degrees out. And you're not, you're staying quite upright. You're not bending mm -hmm. too far over. Mm -hmm. You want to stay quite upright. Mm -hmm. and it's a very small contraction. Yeah. A lot of ballerinas do this kind of shit. You look like wow. one. <laughs> Are you a jackass? Yes. <laughs> the donkey kick. This is such a great one. What do you think the donkey kick works more, Max or me? Uh, Max. Good girl. Yes, yeah. it does. So, uh, donkey kick is all about, now we have the bend in the knee. And we're thinking about trying to drive that heel up to the ceiling. I'm not yeah. Gonna your old, depends on the exercise. Kickbacks, you have to have a straight leg. Yeah. Doing a donkey kick or 
you gotta have a little bit of a meter, right? So, we're gonna so check this out. So when you donkey kick, you want to try to pull your heel toward the back of your head, and then that way you'll get a greater contraction. Good. Extend, but keep that heel pointing toward the back like to of your head. Before. I like to keep my knee like just before I cross. Yeah. And I drive that in. Well, once you drive the knee in, you're lengthening the glute too much. You want to keep it short because you want to keep it contracted. Great step. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Donkey kicks, man. Bubble, especially on the cable. Strap up on the ankle. Strap on. What's next, Booty King? All you do is post booty videos. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Right. Uh, this is my favorite one. So we've done standard kickback, donkey kick. This is yeah. a side kick out. Side oh. kick out. Oh. But here's, here's the bonus tip, right? Because most do them like this. So what this do they do? Thing. When you're doing shit, you always want to be alive with the cable. When you're so doing I'm shit. Like side kick out, like I don't want to be back here. I no. Right. I want to have this right flush. So we'll do it like this, but yo, here's the tip. Step over. Oh yeah. That step. Yeah. So your stance leg has to have the most control and it's gonna have the most control when it's in front of the other one. The back one kicks back at 45 degrees. Lead with the heel. Tuck your toe in, booty king. There you go. Oh, Drive yeah. out. That, that uh-huh. Every time. It'll get you. Yeah, you guys. So don't weaken your stance by placing your stance leg behind your other leg. It'll put you in a less strong state. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So side kick out, it's great for obviously the whole side of the glutes. Um, I find it's more meat as well. Absolutely. And you can change the angle. Like I never actually, I rarely go straight out to the side. Always a little bit. Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. you don't, I mean, mm -hmm. you can go straight out. So, because the glute that we're after here for uh, contractile purposes is the half moon, right? So, it's the top and the side. So, you're missing out on that on that uh, top shelf if you go just straight to the you side. Don't the, the wine glass. Exactly. 45 degrees. I'll take a uh, Pinot Noir. I don't even know a wine. Well, I know that from Cabernet, a movie. Is that one or chocolate? Merlot. Merlot. Yeah, those are reds. Love the red. Pinot Gris. That's the sweet one. Pinot Gris. That's what I wanted to say. That's a good one. Why are we talking about wine? We yeah, because you were. <laughs> All right, number four. Going for a dip, there, guy. I'm swimming across the Pacific. Oh. It's number four on the list. It's around the world. It's <laughs> a good one. So this this one's hard, um, and. And also, like, some dancers probably watch me do it and be like, haha, look at his tight hips. And I'm uh, like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Because you gotta have loose hips for this. Mm -hmm. But I still think it's a great exercise to throw in as a burnout. Um, it's probably one of my least used cable exercises, but it's in there because it once again works the whole glute muscle. And it's a great warm up, uh, a great finisher. And like I said, it's a good stimulator. So mm -hmm. basically, what we're doing. That's another thing, guys. When you're doing your kickbacks and, and all, all these, go light. Just ain't the fucking bar, bro. Yeah, go 10 light. pounds or less. Like, yo, like, I mean, we can go a little heavier than that, but like, it's... No, 10 pounds or less. Especially so, if you have tight hips. So this is where we're going <laughs> to start by going straight back. Which everyone has tight hips. And we angle around, and then we get to the side, the end of the side kick out. Yeah. So we're going to bring it back around, and then straight back down. Once again, straight up. I like to turn the heel. Yeah. This leg like super engaged. Yeah. I'm turning around and then going back straight again. Oh fuck. Excellent. Yeah, no, this is a good one. And like on the subject of tight hips as well, you're gonna wanna stay away from a lot of hip flexion stuff, right? If you do find that issue and stick to hip extension. And so you're gonna wanna do more of your deadlifts and your kickback and your hip thrust to keep yourself from shortening that little flexor yeah. even more, one so. The, one of the great things about these kickbacks too and all these cable exercises is like, when I was when I was training clients, I'd mm -hmm. always get them being like, oh, like the leg you're standing on, my glutes firing right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you stand on one leg, what fires? It's the stance oh, glutes, glute, always. It's one of the breaks of the body. It's expected. All right, now moment number five, check it out. All right, guys, straight leg quiz time. What have we gone through? Uh, 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 kick back, straight leg kick don back, donkey, standard. sideways donkey. kick back. Sideways, side kick. Out. Sorry, side kick around the, around, <laughs> around the world. the world, yeah. Okay, so number five, this is cool. I call this a parallel kick back, oh. a bent over kick back. So like the straight leg kick back, remember we were straight up, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now the bent over kick back, so I'll get some like room. 
I'm mm. moving my body parallel. Oh, so, wow. And, and the leg is straight, and I'm kicking right up. So it's kind of a hybrid between a donkey kick and a kickback. Yeah. I find there's a really nice contraction on the glute max here. Yeah. I'm not going too far down. I'm getting that good squeeze. So correct me if I'm wrong here, because I've never tried this one, but by going parallel to the floor and sort of holding on to that, are you just supposed to be able to get more power through your heel because you're yeah. not straight up? It's a different range. It's different tension. Oh. Uh, like, I'm not up straight and doing this. Mm -hmm. It's all me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather when I'm bent over parallel, it's more the max. Oh, yeah. See that. Yeah, you can actually see the difference in yeah, what so is activated yeah more juicier so yeah that's a more juicier word. that's a technical term there you go there it is wow my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and their life is better than yours <laughs> yay how you doing brownie i'm good Hello, we look. good we peach pumped you look beautiful thank you in that um, blue so this there you go, has team. been. There you go, team. Those are my top backs. five cable exercises. Woo! I love those. I'm telling you right now. Start your workout with them, end your workout with them, toss them in the middle. But don't, if you want to build your ass, if you want to build your glutes, you got isolated. So yep. those top five guaranteed go light, high reps, drop sets, cluster sets, you know, and that's going to pump the peach. Do it all. Love you guys. Ciao. Good night. It's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. Get excited, baby!